Welcome to Freedom Enthusiasts with another episode of The Radical Libertarian, where we dive deep into the heart of liberty, challenging the status quo and uncovering the truths that lie beneath mainstream narratives. I'm your host, Jason Schneemser, and today we're embarking on a thought-provoking journey to reimagine education through a libertarian lens. In our relentless quest for liberty, we've explored various facets of society, dissecting contemporary events and ideologies that shape our world. This episode, however, shines a spotlight on a cornerstone of societal development often taken for granted, education. The landscape of education today presents a plethora of challenges and controversies, from rigid government controls and one-size-fits-all curriculums to the stifling of innovation and creativity. It's clear that a transformation is not just necessary, but urgent. As libertarians, we envision a world where education is not a monolith, but a diverse ecosystem thriving on freedom, choice, and individuality. Today's episode, Education Reimagined, a Libertarian Vision, delves into the essence of what education could be, liberated from the clutches of centralized control and bureaucratic oversight. So if you're ready to challenge the controversial, to explore the boundless possibilities that freedom brings to education, and you're in the right place. Let's embark on this journey together to unravel, to question, and ultimately to envision an education system that truly serves the individual and fosters a freer, more enlightened society. As we venture into the heart of today's discussion, let's first lay the groundwork by examining the current state of education. It's no secret that education, in its traditional form, plays a pivotal role in shaping the minds of our youth, preparing them for challenges and opportunities of adulthood. Yet beneath the surface of this noble endeavor lies a myriad of systemic issues that hinder the true potential of learners across the globe. At the core of the traditional education system is a model that has remained largely unchanged for centuries. This model, built around standardized testing and a one-size-fits-all curriculum, and rigid government oversight fails to recognize the unique talents, interests, and learning styles of individual students. It's a system where success is often measured by the ability to memorize and regurgitate information rather than cultivate critical thinking, creativity, and practical skills. Consider the statistics. According to the National Assessment of Education Progress, often referred to as the nation's report card, only 34% of 8th graders in the United States were proficient in reading, and 33% were proficient in mathematics in 2019. These figures starkly highlight the disconnect between the goals of our education system and the outcomes it delivers. Furthermore, the lack of choice and competition within the public education system has led to a system where schools are not incentivized to innovate, or improve. The one-size-fits-all approach leaves many students disengaged and disenfranchised, contributing to a growing achievement gap and a rising tide of dissatisfaction among students, parents, and educators alike. Government control over education also stifles diversity in teaching methodologies and curriculum. While well-intentioned, Regulations and mandates often limit the ability of schools to adapt to the changing needs of society and the individual needs of students. This centralized control contributes to a homogenization of education, where bureaucratic compliance overshadows educational effectiveness. Moreover, the education system's deficiencies are not just academic, but financial as well. Despite significant increases in education spending, improvement in student outcomes have been minimal. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, the United States spent on average of $13,600 per public school student in 2017. Yet these investments have not corresponded with commensurate gains in student learning or well-being. The implications of these systemic issues are profound, affecting not just the individual student, but society as a whole. A failing education system perpetuates inequality, stifles economic mobility, and undermines the very foundation of our democratic society. But it's not all doom and gloom. The challenges we face pre present an opportunity for radical rethinking and innovation. 
In the next segment, we'll explore the libertarian principles that offer a beacon of hope for transforming education into a system that truly values freedom, individuality, and choice. As we transition from this critical examination of the current state of education, remember the goal is not merely to critique, but to pave the way for a discussion on solutions that can liberate the immense potential of every learner. Stay with us as we delve into the heart of a libertarian vision for education. Each individual's journey of learning is as unique as they are, unfettered by the constraints of an outdated system and ideologies. Transitioning from the stark realities of our current education system, we now pivot to a vision of what could be a vision grounded in libertarian principles. The essence of libertarianism in education is not a mere critique of the status quo, but an affirmative vision that champions freedom, individuality, and innovation. Let's explore how these principles can radically transform the educational landscape. Libertarianism advocates for minimal government intervention, emphasizing the importance of personal freedom and responsibility. Applied to education, this philosophy champions the belief that parents and students should have the ultimate authority to choose the educational pathways that best suit their needs and aspirations. A stance that prioritizes individual choice over one-size-fits-all mandates, recognizing the diverse talents, interests, and learning styles of students. At the heart of the libertarian vision for education is the concept of school choice. This includes a variety of options such as sports schools, voucher programs, homeschooling, and online learning platforms. By fostering competition and allowing funding to follow the student, schools are incentivized to innovate and improve to meet the needs and preferences of their students. This market-driven approach stands in stark contrast to the current system's monopolistic tendencies, where public schools often have guaranteed funding regardless of performance or parent satisfaction. Moreover, libertarian principles advocate for the decentralization of education. This means reducing the role of federal and state government in dictating curriculum, standards, and testing, and instead empowering local communities, educators, and families to make these critical decisions. Such decentralization allows for educational models that are more responsive to the needs of students, encouraging a plurality of approaches rather than a monolithic system. The Libertarian Party, as outlined in their platform, underscores the importance of freedom in education. They assert that education is best provided by the free market, achieving greater quality, accountability, and efficiency with more diversity of choice. Recognizing education as a personal value that differs for every individual, libertarians call for a system that respects the freedom of individuals to seek education, as they define it, without interference from government. Imagine an education system where schools are as diverse and dynamic as the students they serve. In this libertarian vision, educators are freer to innovate, creating learning environments that ignite passion, curiosity, and a love for learning. Students are treated as individuals with education plans tailored to their unique strengths, interests, and learning styles. Parents empowered with choice become active participants in their children's education, selecting schools or educational resources that align with their values and aspirations. This vision is not just theoretical, but grounded in practical, actionable principles that can lead to real-world improvements in education quality and accessibility. It challenges the conventional wisdom that government knows best when it comes to education advocating instead for a system that puts the power back in the hands of those it serves, students and families. As we delve deeper into the episode, we'll examine concrete examples of how libertarian principles have already begun to reshape education, offering a glimpse into the future where education is truly reimagined. But before we dive into these case studies, it's important to reflect on the transformative potential of applying libertarian principles to education. It's a call to action, urging us to reimagine not just how we educate, but why we educate, placing the individual at the center of this vital human endeavor. Stay tuned as we explore the benefits of a libertarian approach to education. 
drawing from real life examples and data that highlight the potential for a brighter, more liberated future for learners everywhere. Building on the foundation of libertarian principles, let's delve into the real world impact of these ideas through case studies of libertarian education models. These examples illuminate the potential for innovation, improved outcomes, and increased satisfaction when education is liberated from one size fits all government mandates. Case study one charter schools. Charter schools stand as a beacon of what's possible when educators are given the freedom to innovate. Operating with more autonomy than traditional public schools, charter schools can tailor their curriculum, teaching methods, and operational practices to meet the unique needs of their student populations. For instance, Success Academy in New York has demonstrated remarkable success by emphasizing rigorous academics, a supportive school culture, and high expectations for all students. According to their reported outcomes, Success Academy scholars consistently outperform their peers in both math and English language arts across the city, with their students often coming from disadvantaged backgrounds. This case study showcases how autonomy and accountability, central tenets of libertarianism, can drive educational excellence and equity. Case study two. Homeschooling. Homeschooling represents the ultimate in educational freedom and customization, allowing parents to tailor the learning environment and content to their child's individual needs. The National Home Education Research Institute highlights the benefits of homeschooling, including higher academic achievement, better social development, and more successful adult outcomes. Homeschoolers, on average, or above the national percentile on standardized tests, demonstrating that a personalized, parent-led educational approach can yield superior academic performance. This case study underscores the libertarian principle that education should be a matter of individual choice and responsibility, free from unnecessary government interference. Case study three, online learning platforms. The rise of online learning platforms, such as Khan Academy or Sarah exemplifies the potential for technology to democratize education. These platforms offer a vast array of courses, from basic mathematics to advanced science and engineering, providing learners worldwide with access to high-quality education resources. By leveraging technology, these platforms break down geographical, financial, and social barriers to education, embodying the libertarian value of making education accessible to all based on merit and interest rather than the ability to pay or where one lives. The success of online learning platforms demonstrates how market-driven solutions can offer diverse, innovative educational options beyond traditional school settings. Case Study 4 – Voucher Programs Voucher programs, which allow parents to use public funding to enroll their children in schools of their choice, including private and charter schools, offer another model of how libertarian principles can be applied to education. The Milwaukee Parental Choice Program, one of the oldest and largest voucher programs in the United States, has provided valuable insights into the potential benefits of such schemes. Research from the University of Arkansas found that students in the Milwaukee program were more likely to graduate high school, attend college, and persist in college than their peers in traditional schools. This case study highlights the potential of voucher programs to increase educational opportunities, particularly for students from low-income families, by fostering a competitive, diverse educational marketplace. These case studies illustrate the transformative power of libertarian principles when applied to education. By prioritizing choice, autonomy, and innovation, these models show a path forward that respects the individuality of learners and the diversity of their needs. They challenge the status quo, offering proof that when education is freed from the constraints of traditional government-run systems, it can flourish in ways that benefit the students, families, and society as a whole. As we move forward, let's keep these examples in mind. They're not just abstract principles or theoretical models. They're real-world demonstrations of how education can be reimagined and revitalized through the lens of liberty. 
Stay with us as we explore the benefits of a libertarian approach to education, drawing further on data and insights that reveal the full potential of these innovative models. Having explored concrete examples of libertarian education models, let's delve into overarching benefits of this approach. A libertarian approach to education, centered around choice, freedom, and minimal government intervention, offers profound advantages not only for individual students, but for society as a whole. This segment will illuminate how embracing libertarian principles in education can lead to improved outcomes, increased satisfaction, and foster a culture of innovation. Enhanced Educational Outcomes one of the most compelling arguments for a libertarian approach to education is the potential for significantly enhanced educational outcomes. By prioritizing choice and competition, schools are driven to improve their services to attract and retain students. This market-based mechanism ensures that schools that fail to meet the needs and preferences of their students either adapt or face closure, a stark contrast to the traditional public school system where schools often face little to no consequences for underperformance. Studies, including those examining the effects of charter schools and voucher programs, consistently show that when students and parents have the freedom of to choose, educational outcomes improve. For example, a comprehensive study by the University of Arkansas on the Milwaukee Parental Choice Program found that participants showed higher graduation rates and college enrollment compared to their public school counterparts. Increased satisfaction among students and parents. The freedom to choose an education that aligns with one's values, learning style, and interests naturally leads to increased satisfaction among both students and parents. A libertarian approach recognizes the diverse views of students, offering a variety of educational paths instead of a one-size-fits-all model. Surveys of parents involved in choice-based programs, such as school vouchers or charter schools, consistently report higher levels of satisfaction with their children's education. This satisfaction stemmed from having control over their children's education and seeing improved engagement and performance. For instance, a survey conducted by the Education Bank found that parents of students in charter schools and private schools through voucher programs were significantly more satisfied with their children's schooling than parents of public school students. Fostering a Culture of Innovation Libertarian education models inherently encourage in innovation within the education sector. Freed from the constraints of standardized curriculums and teaching methodologies, educators can experiment with new teaching techniques, technologies, and curriculums tailored to the diverse needs of their student populations. Online learning platforms like Khan Academy and Coursera exemplify this innovative potential, offering personalized learning experiences that adapt to the pace and interests of each learner. These platforms, along with charter schools and homeschooling networks, serve as laboratories for educational innovation, testing and refining new approaches that can be adopted more widely. Promoting social and economic mobility. Education is a critical pathway to social and economic mobility. By providing students with more educational options and the opportunity to go through pathways that best fit their talents and interests, a libertarian approach to education can help break down barriers to social and economic advancement. Personalized education models can better equip students with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in the workforce, promoting greater economic mobility and reducing inequality. Furthermore, by challenging the status quo and offering alternatives to underperforming public schools, libertarian education models can offer lifelines to students in disadvantaged communities, providing them with the tools to escape the cycle of poverty. The benefits of adopting a libertarian approach to education are clear. Improved educational outcomes, increased satisfaction among students and parents, a culture of innovation, and greater social and economic mobility. By prioritizing individual choice, autonomy, and minimal government intervention, we can create an education system that not only meets the diverse needs of students, but also adapts to the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. As we continue to explore and implement these principles, it's essential to keep in mind the ultimate goal, an education system that empowers individuals, fosters innovation, contributes to a freer, prosperous society.
As we champion a libertarian vision for education, grounded in principles of choice, autonomy, and minimal government intervention, it's crucial to address common criticisms. Skeptics of this approach often raise concerns about equity, quality, and the social role of education. Let's delve into these criticisms and explore the counterarguments that underscore the robustness of the libertarian perspective. Criticism 1. Equity and Access a frequent criticism of libertarian education models, such as school vouchers and charter schools, is that they may exacerbate inequalities, favoring families with more resources and knowledge to navigate the system. Critics argue that this could leave the most vulnerable students, those from low-income families or disenfranchised backgrounds, in underfunded public schools that lack resources to compete. In response, it's important to highlight that the goal of libertarian education reforms is to expand access and opportunity for all students, especially those trapped in failing schools. Voucher programs, for example, are often specifically designed to prioritize low-income families, giving them the financial means to choose better educational options. Moreover, the introduction of choice and competition into the education sector serve as a catalyst for improvement across all schools not just for those that are privately managed. By raising the standard and holding all educational institutions accountable, we can work towards an equitable education system that serves every child's needs, regardless of their socioeconomic status. Criticism 2. Quality Assurance Another concern revolves around quality assurance within a more decentralized, market-driven education system. Critics worry that without strict government oversight, schools might sacrifice academic rigor in favor of profit or ideological indoctrination, ultimately harming student outcomes. The libertarian response to this criticism emphasizes the role of transparency, parental involvement, and accountability mechanisms inherent in choice-based systems. Unlike the traditional public education model, where schools are guaranteed funding regardless of performance, a libertarian model makes school funding contingent on parental choice and student satisfaction. This creates a natural incentive for schools to maintain high standards and cater to the educational needs of their students. Furthermore, the flexibility allowed in curriculum and teaching methods can lead to innovative and effective educational practices customized to student needs and learning styles, thereby enhancing quality. Criticism 3. Social Role of Education Some argue that education serves a broader social purpose beyond just academic institution, including socialization, promoting civic values, and ensuring a common cultural knowledge base. Critics of libertarian education models express concern that increased privatization and individual choice might fragment society leading to a lack of shared values and civic engagement. It's essential to recognize that a diverse and pluralistic education system can actually strengthen the social fabric by respecting and nurturing individual identities, beliefs, and values. Far from eroding social cohesion, a libertarian approach to education encourages students to engage with a variety of perspectives and cultures, fostering mutual respect and understanding. Moreover, schools focused on community involvement and civic education can thrive within a libertarian framework, as parents and students choose institutions that align with their values and aspirations for civic engagement. While it's important to engage and address criticisms of libertarian education models, it's equally crucial to recognize the transformative potential of these approaches. By prioritizing choice, autonomy, and accountability, can move towards an education system that not only meets the diverse needs of students, but also promotes equity, equality, and social cohesion. As we continue to debate and refine these ideas, the ultimate goal remains clear, to empower individuals through education, enabling them to lead fulfilling lives as informed, engaged citizens in a free society. As we've navigated through the transformative potential of a libertarian approach to education, it's clear that the journey doesn't end with recognizing the benefits. The path forward 
toward actualizing this vision requires actionable steps, collective effort, and a steadfast commitment to the principles of freedom, choice, and individuality. In this segment, we explore how to move forward, laying the groundwork for a future where education is liberated from the confines of one-size-fits-all solutions and thrives in an ecosystem of diversity and innovation. Empowering parents and students with choice. The cornerstone of a libertarian education system is choice. To move forward, we must advocate policies and initiatives that empower parents and students to choose the educational paths that best suit their needs. This includes expanding access to charter schools, programs, education savings accounts, tax credit scholarships. By diversifying funding mechanisms, we can ensure that all students, regardless of their socioeconomic status, have the opportunity to attend schools that align with their learning styles and goals. Advocacy efforts should focus on legislative changes that remove barriers to school choice and promote a more equitable and accessible education marketplace. Decentralizing education control. Decentralizing edu education control is crucial to fostering innovation and meeting the diverse needs of students. This involves shifting decision making power from federal and state level to local communities, schools, and most importantly, families. Advocating for policies that reduce bureaucratic oversight and increase autonomy for schools and educators, we can create an environment where diverse educational models can flourish. Local control enables schools to tailor their curriculum, teaching methods, and operations to the unique needs of their communities, leading to more responsive and effective education systems. Promoting alternative education models. To truly reimagine education, we must embrace and promote alternative education models that break away from traditional paradigms. Homeschooling, unschooling, micro schools, and online learning platforms are just a few examples of how education can be personalized and adapted to the modern world. Supporting these alternatives means not only advocating for their recognition and inclusion in the broader education system, but also providing resources support networks, and legal protections for those who choose these paths. By highlighting the success stories and proven outcome of alternative education models, we can challenge the prevailing biases and misconceptions that often hinder acceptance and growth. Encouraging public-private partnerships. Public-private partnerships can play a significant role in advancing a libertarian approach to education. By leveraging the strengths and resources of both sectors, we can create innovative educational systems that benefit all students. These partnerships can facilitate the development of new learning technologies, educational content, and infrastructure that support personalized learning experiences. Moreover, they can provide the necessary funding and expertise to scale successful educational models and make them accessible to a broader audience. Encouraging collaboration between educators, business, and community organizations can drive the innovation needed to transform the education system. Fostering a culture of lifelong learning. Finally, moving forward requires fostering a culture that values lifelong learning over formal education potential. In a rapidly changing world, the ability to continuously acquire new skills and knowledge is paramount. We must advocate for an education system that prepares students for this reality. Focusing on critical thinking, adaptability, and a love for learning that extends beyond the classroom. This involves recognizing and validating informal learning experiences, encouraging self-directed learning, and creating opportunities for individuals to learn and grow throughout their lives. The journey toward a libertarian vision for education is ambitious and fraught with challenges. Yet the potential rewards, a system that truly serves the diverse needs of students, empowers individuals, and fosters a more just and enlightened society, are too great to ignore. By advocating for choice, centralizing control, embracing alternative method models, encouraging public-private partnerships, and fostering a culture of lifelong learning, we can move closer to realizing this vision. Path forward is not solely the responsibility of policymakers and educators. 
It requires the engagement and commitment of us all. Together we can create an education system that liberates the potential of every learner, paving the way for a future defined by freedom, innovation, and opportunity. As we draw this episode to a close, let's reflect on the journey we've embarked upon today. From dissecting the current state of education and its challenges to exploring the transformative potential of libertarian principles, we've traversed a landscape ripe for change. We've seen through case studies and examples that a future where education is characterized by freedom, choice, and individuality is not only possible, but achievable. The vision we've outlined today is one of empowerment and innovation. A vision where education transcends the confines of traditional models and embraces the diversity of human potential. It's a future where parents and students are the architects of their educational journeys, where schools compete to provide the best possible learning experiences, and where learning is a lifelong pursuit, untethered to the walls of classrooms or the pages of textbooks. This vision, however, is not a distant dream. It's a call to action. A challenge to each of us to advocate for change, to support policies and initiatives that align with libertarian principles, and to contribute in our own ways to the transformation of education. Whether through engaging in local school boards, supporting educational choice initiatives, or simply fostering a culture of curiosity and learning in our communities, each of us has a role to play in reimagining education. The journey toward a libertarian vision for education is undoubtedly a challenging one. It requires us to confront entrenched systems, to challenge long-held beliefs, and to navigate the complexities of policy and politics. But the stakes could not be higher. Education is the bedrock of a free and prosperous society, key to unlocking human potential, and the pathway to a future defined by liberty and opportunity for all. As we conclude this episode, I urge you to carry forward the spirit of inquiry and the flame of liberty that has guided our discussion. Let us continue to question, to explore, and to advocate for an education system that truly serves the individual and fosters a freer, more enlightened world. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I'm Jason Feimster, and this has been The Radical Libertarian. Remember, the quest for liberty is a relentless pursuit, and it's a journey we embark on together. Stay curious, stay engaged, and continue to imagine the world around us, one episode at a time. Until next time, keep challenging the status quo, keep seeking truth, and never stop learning. Farewell. May your path be guided by the light of liberty.